Welcome everybody to another episode of Skateline NBD. Oh, damn it. That's not what this is, bro. This is a response. Gary responds when we read the comments. <sighs> Let's just keep that. Nah, bro, condiment. This is an he's an avid commenter. He's always here. It says kick flipping in the staples is wild. It's so wild. The future is now. You're damn right the future is now. These kids don't care anymore. And they also realize if you don't do some buck shit, people are gonna forget about you. You can manual all you want. You can flip your board as many times as you want. You'll be Levi Loafenberger as much as you want, and it won't do anything, but it'll kick from, from 50 staples. <laughs> Corn Sin says, Sir Ellen John did not get knighted for you to skate in a stair, Gary. I have said before, never change. I won't. Also, Blake's video was nasty. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Blake Norris put together a part that was like, from start to finish, really gracefully gnarly. I really enjoy that part. And I, I'm telling y'all, there's very few that come out in these day and age. I think after 2015 that I can watch again. And I, I've already watched that video like three or four times. Uh, Tommy Plaz says, Tiny Dancer was used in New Deal's seven year glitch for the closing feel good section. One of the best vids ever. Damn, why do I like, okay, let's just be honest real quick. Am I gonna get in trouble? I like remember that and don't remember that. Like I don't fully, I can't tell you about the whole New Deal video, but I remember somebody using a good song at a comp and it feels familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Doe Supreme 94 says that wobble was something else. I've heard that in very many different scenarios or people have said that in different scenarios, but in that speed wobbles case, that was hectic. I, you know, when people survive speed wobbles, I get to like breathe. I hold my breath when I get to see the shaking because a wobble could throw you like the pitch it can throw you the stomach sliders, and then it's that one that turns your back and you go, oh no. But when they survive, it feels so good. Why? Because says those dislikes must be coming from the mall security guards. Probably, I would, I would, I would agree with that. If I was a mall security guard, seen this, be like, thumbs down. <laughs> Corey Brown 77 says, hello, my, my skateboard family. I love you all, and here we go again. You're damn right. We're starting it all over again together. January, start of the year. Let's go. <laughs> Love you too, man. We the best tradie. 096 says that last that last clip gave me flashbacks, bro. I hope. Ooh, you must have had a bad speed wobble adventure on your own, man. Or if that was you in the clip, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Asaya Logan says I kind of feel bad for the new age skaters that have to post their enders on IG to promote their part. I need Pira to make another forecast or something like that to generate real hype for some AMs. You know what's actually crazy, Asaya, is that is happening all the time. They're making these videos about these AMs and these dudes, but it's not 2007 and eight when it was like four or five videos a year. There's literally a video a week of dudes that are killing it and it's hard to get that level of attention. Like, that's the only thing. It's not like these big, like P-Rod is doing those recycled and pinpointing these guys and there is all these edits that are making these dudes like actually feel special, but it's just lost in the sauce of the hundreds of every, like there's 300 plus videos getting uploaded, a, like, a, you know what I'm saying? A year, bro. There's a video every day. There's a new skate video every day. <laughs> fucking 20 full lengths, fucking, it's, it's crazy. So it's not like, you gotta just put it out so it can be seen. You just have to be seen because now all you get sponsored for is that ender. Uwe Vizzy says, that kickflip 50 is insane, but if we keep it real, his back truck came out of the grind for a bit. It did not, because coming out of that grind, he should have died horribly, all right? He might have wiggle wobble. He still caught it and did it. Now, once you walk up over there or look at that footage again, that's not a real come out of the trucks, because y'all be giving these motherfuckers nines at street leagues for them trade flip 50s that they do not get the truck on. Chris Cole done won a couple of them shits for some fake ass trade for 50 50s. So this kid who just tried some gnarly shit, it doesn't have to do it again. This is legit enough. Okay? Just like, but then again, I'm the same person that counts Chris Johnson's trade flip on El Toro. All right? I count it. The truck broke on him. If Chris Johnson had nice trucks or good trucks, he would have rolled away. Is he on Indy? If he's on Indy, I'm sorry. But I don't remember who his truck is and why it broke. Let me just get out of here before I get in trouble. This wraps another episode of Gary Responds. I like trouble. Two links. <laughs>